To be honest, time in Genshin Impact is kinda confusing right now. Moreover, until version 2.5, we have been presented with some information about Economia, the book Before the Sun and Moon, Gladden Story Quest 2, which has something to do with time. How exactly does time work in Genshin Impact? Is it linear, multiverse, or anything that have relation to time? Today, we will learn more about time in Genshin Impact world. But first, I will not talk about theory here, just sharing a random thought or you can say it like some facts or hints in the game. So I try my best to provide as many facts and hints as possible and also there is no definitive conclusion in the end of this video, just an open ending, so you can speculate what the implication of this information that I will share. And I hope you can also share any insight or information that I probably miss or misleading in the comment section below. But first, this video contains spoilers about... So yeah, let's begin. We need to know that time has two different meanings. Time as measurement and time as fundamental word structure. Time as measurement, for example, like morning, afternoon, 10 p.m., yesterday, tomorrow, days, years, age, and so on. We can also see this term in Genshin Impact. Most of the stories and quests are related to time, isn't it? Like the cataclysm in 500 years ago, or any quest that requires us to wait for in a certain time. And also, in Genshin, time is related to the game mechanics. You can see that we can, as a player, have ability to move forward in time, use, you know, clock, not vice versa. But there is one problem. What time in Genshin Impact belongs to? To the moon, to the sun, or both? In our real world, we use the sun as one year calendar, and the moon as a one month calendar. But in Genshin Impact world, what they do use? We already know that in the past there were three moons and now only one moon remains. So does that mean that one day night circle for now is different from the past or still the same? If that's different, then the calculation for the time measurement is also different, right? So the information about 500 years ago based on what? Based on lunar calendar? The sun calendar? Both or what? Because if everyone has different base, the timeline also becomes different. It is something like we have different calendars like Georgian calendar or like Hydrian calendar. We can see the example of time as a word fundamental structure in Genshin Impact based on three realms that we know. They are human realm, fish up realm, and void realm. These three realms coincidentally have different flows of time. We can say that the human realm has a normal flow of time, and the deeper we go, the slower time will flow, like the more we reach the void realm. For example, Teyvat, Inkanomiya, and the Abyss or Kanria have different flows of time. Economia and the Abyss, time flow pretty slowly than Teyvat. If that's so, that means 500 years ago also cannot be said as a long time, since different realms have different flow of time. But my real question is, what makes this happen? Why do these three realms have different flow of time in the first place? If we see in our real world, Different flow of time can happen because there is a significant amount of gravity or space-time curve that make time flow slowly or even faster. An easy example of this, the one only, black hole. We love black hole, right? Black hole, in black hole, time flows so differently because there is so much gravity in one place that makes space-time curve. And also, you need to know that the flow of time also has relation to distance and light. The more distant and close are to the speed of light, the more time flows slowly. So does this mean the realm in Genshin Impact has relation to the gravity? 
or the realms are actually like kind of space box that can spin so fast as a speed of light that can bend time. The answer is I don't know, man. Time, wind, fade, and ley line or memory. Until now, there is so much information that tell us time in Genshin world somehow, somewhere, something has relation to the wind, fate, and ley line. We actually know that there exists the Thousand Wind Temple, the god of wind and time, the god of time, and the word destiny and fate that Kazuil mentioned in certain quests by many NPCs and characters so far. And recently, in Garden Story Quest 2, show us that ley line brings memory flow into life, and even affect the time itself, like what Garden A did with the seed in the Makoto's realm of consciousness. This brings my question: Does this mean wind, fate, and memory have a big role to the way time works in Genshin World? Like. Time has relation to the wind, means that time flows freely like the wind, so the past, present, and future is actually moving freely. It's still linear or straight line but more spread and wide like the wind flow. And fate, does that mean the time has a fixed control of destiny for everything that ever exists because time controls fate? So, if everything has been predetermined, it means memory in this context is actually some kind of data in the flow of time. The big example is, you know, the way Sacred Sakura was born in Raiden Story Quest 2, which actually Raiden A put the seed in the present to the past. So the past has not a beginning memory of the seed that makes Sacred Sakura looks like instantly exists out of nowhere. So it means there is still memory loss in the flow of time. To fix this, in a short story, Raiden A put the seed in the present to the past, and that actually put the beginning memory back to the whole ground of timeline. And this is not paradox, just the flow of time is still straight line, but the line contains so many sequences of memory to make time itself. It said so, does it mean there is no branch of time? No multiverse? No travel? Like time travel, you know? But instead, we can inject some kind of new memory to change older memory in the flow of time to change our fate or destiny. Is it possible like that? I don't know. So, how does time work in Genshin World? My answer is, I don't know, because you know, it's kinda complicated or you know, you can say that like way too long in our current situation. We still need more information, event, quests, on so on to get better understanding, not only for the timeline, but the way time works in Genshin world. To be honest, I almost lost my sanity while making this script because it is truly complicated for me. It might be because I'm taking this topic too deeply and serious and forcing it to match with our real world physics. Because at the end of the day, like the loading screen say, Teyvat has its own laws. So what do you think guys? Have any theories that relate to time or timeline or something else? Or some facts and hints in the game? Write your opinions and thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and Zillow hand here. See you in the next time.